So be loud so every senator can hear you. the fact that like we have to learn when we're like seven years old how to hide from somebody who's trying to kill you for absolutely no reason. Um, there was a shooting in my town a couple years ago that a couple of my friends were in. They, they made it out okay but they were definitely really affected by it just by some random person coming in and wanting to take their lives for no reason and I just think that that's crazy that we live in a society where nothing's been done about that. If you look at it, all of the recent murders have been done by 18 year olds and yet they can't smoke because they can't buy cigarettes, they can't buy liquor because they're not mature enough to handle those two things and yet they're mature enough to handle an AR-15. That's ridiculous. We have to do something about it. You know, where all lives supposedly matter, but black and brown lives are taken on a daily basis. He needs us to forget about this. He needs us to move on. But we can't because the next kid or best friend or... ...health programs or substance abuse programs and stand up for victims. Don't enable situations. Thank you. Well, I wasn't the happiest to be here today. Look, I didn't think that we would need this four years later, but I do have hope. I think that, you know, the culture on gun violence prevention has changed. More than 80% of Americans support common sense gun violence prevention policies. So our elected officials just need to listen to us, and then hopefully we'll see some action in the next few weeks. Do we want it now? What do we want? Justice! When do we want it now? <laughs> This time is different because you are still here. Thank you to all the survivors who never get enough credit. Please give us a round of applause.